sit and we drink vodka. We'll drink vodka. It's delicious vodka. This is delicious vodka. Vodka is not my favorite. Vodka's mixed. But I would love to, obviously this is lemonade vodka, it's delicious. Yes. But you can't get it outside of South Carolina. Uh, this this one from Firefly. That, which is a shame, it's delicious. Um, but anyways, vodka, like I, I would love to go to Russia and get vodka. Yeah, that would be a cool thing on a bucket list but to do, is like, to say you've had vodka in Russia. Vodka is also the, the one liqueur that I feel there's a drastic difference. I mean, there's from everyone, but I feel like the biggest difference between expensive and cheap is in vodka. Even more so than tequila? That'd be a close one. Yeah, because for say, me it's tequila. Cheap tequila is bleh. Yeah, <laughs> both of them. Like, yeah. Cheap vodka, cheap tequila. Yeah. Anyways, that was, okay. So let's Sláinte. Sláinte. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to It's up, Corbin. I'm not Russian. You wish you were Russian. You no. follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us Twitter account, ring the bell, ring the A score. Bang! Follow us on the description below. You know, when Vladimir has beans, Vladimir's Putin. <laughs> <laughs> and murdering people. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do that. It's just the KGB. Oh, they don't exist anymore. Ah! Anyways, today we're doing a cricket video. <laughs> Tell them about my lifeguard pants. Oh yeah, you, you look like a lifeguard today. I do, you know why? I got the red pants. And I got this. Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, I was wondering why you wanted me to reference those. Yep! And All I, that! It's because of your bulge. It's because of my blue ball. Today we're doing a cricket video. Yay! This is, uh, Speaking of blue balls. 10 unplayable swing delivery. Hold that now? No. Swing deliveries by Indian fast bowlers. Ten unplayable swing, swing deliveries, deliveries by Indian fast bowlers. Yeah. That's okay. a lot of adjectives. That is, that is a lot of adjectives. Uh, swing bowling is an art that not all bowlers can master. As it is said, bowler, bowling fast is something that can be achieved, but very few can move the ball literally, laterally, laterally in either direction with the... With spoofing deviation? Spoofing? Wow. Is that like um, the boofing from, uh, what's his know, phrase when you say Supreme Court? Spoof, spoof only means like a mocking kind of a thing. If you do a spoof, like Mel Brooks did a spoof of Star Wars with Spaceballs. So I've never oh. heard that terminology in Yo, Schwartz in is bigger than sports. mine. Spaceballs, if you haven't seen it. Yogurt. Had, I'd Just be, plain yogurt. I'd be interested if Indians, obviously they didn't grow up in America, yeah, you gotta, would get... The references or get Mel Brooks in general in general because a lot of what he did was parody comedy of great American things yeah. so Young Frankenstein's a parody of Frankenstein uh, Blazing Saddles is a parody of all the great spaghetti westerns Spaceballs is a parody of uh, Star Wars High Anxiety is a parody of all of Alfred Hitchcock's films yeah. that'd be interesting let us know if you love uh, Mel Brooks um, Mel obviously Brooks. if you've seen a lot of American films classics yeah uh, you might you might and even if you didn't something like Young hilarious. Frankenstein I don't know why you still wouldn't just adore it's Young Frankenstein Frankenstein exactly <laughs> anyways that's nothing to do with this video true uh, but you know that's the stupidity that you come here for that's why you come here here we go Hey guys! Hi! Welcome Hi. to Extra Innings. <laughs> Thank you! This is Hitesh and today I will present you 10 unplayable swing deliveries by Indian bowling legends. Okay. Do watch till the end. It's so weird. Okay. Um, it's like he's hypnotizing us. I hope the, the video quality is okay. That's usually what is challenging with a lot of these. Yeah. Did that go through him? It looked like it went through him. Where did it go? Did it go between his legs? Ridiculously impressive, because I don't even know where that went. Good way. Nipping back and through him. I don't know. Once again, it literally looked like it went through him. Hey, that's who I thought was Irfan Khan that we were changing in the stadium. Yes. Scott Sterling! 
behind such a big wicket to put well in the... Yeah, do you see that Dang. movement? Like, you couldn't have gotten closer to him without, like, hitting him. Oh, clean him up. Great delivery from Balaji. Can you show it again, but like give yeah, us... Yeah, like from the, before he releases it? Two wickets in three balls is struck. Pakistan have lost two wickets very quickly. Middle leg looks to me down the seam, swings in under wow. the bat of the new batsman. Did you see how he was holding that? Yep. Yeah, that was grip, wow. grip specific. Did that just go like straight on the... Did you see the cat in the Yankees game? Maybe? Yes! It was spectacular. The fans were cheering for it. Yeah. MVP. I don't know why cricket videos are always so poor in quality. Most of them are old. I guess. Oh, there's a Well, I can't see anything can't see with that. Thing. Dang. That looks like it's going at least 70 miles an hour. Yeah, how long did they say? Right. How fast did they say they were going? They can go up to 90. Usually between like 70 and and just around 90. The thing that's crazy to me. Obviously, they have to be so precise in knowing how it's going to bounce. Yeah. Because if it hits them, that's. That's uh, a ball, right? Oh, wow. I'm just trying to figure out how they... I'm guessing that obviously they have to give a little bit of a spin, right? Yeah, it's got. It's, it's got to be so precise, though. Yeah. And know where exactly. I mean, obviously they're professionals, so obviously that makes sense. But it seems like a yeah, lot of variables. A lot of variables. Because like in baseball, it's just how he throws it in his velocity, right? But it's not a, a different element like the ground. Correct. <laughs> That's the unfortunate thing with all these. Bowling against the wind, just right. Ball just nips around a bit, in between the bat and the close to drive. That's a fine delivery. The Marsha for 47, trying to be... The balls on these, uh, the guys though, like they don't move. Oh, he's bowling! Some of these go in like That's the smallest little hole. Yeah. And you can see by the smile on Dev's face, he really did enjoy it. Oh, oh, that's who ran here's play. That guy. Oh, it's so frustrating to have to try to focus. Look how he goes in between the bat and the yeah. person. That's insane. Yeah, that's who ran here's play. I recognize him. Yeah, uh, Dev uh, Kapil. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see that. That is a great delivery. Zarkhan is on for... He no clue. Shouldering arms. Cameraman couldn't see it either. <laughs> just a little bit. Hitting the top of the off stump. And Zayn's got two and two. Delighted, isn't he? And they still do not have a run on the... Yeah, that's always Don't the... Yeah. It seems like the past six or seven videos we've done with cricket, you can hardly see Well, because a lot on. of the ones were... Uh, Obviously, we can't do the ICC ones because right. they block and copyright strike. Um, so, like, for the cricket stuff, because a lot of people love when we do cricket reactions because they, they love, obviously, too. the sport. Yeah. Um, but it's, like, the top whatever ever. So it's older videos. And so a lot of them are extremely great. I have no way of – I can't watch the video before. Yeah, I just don't understand why they're so bad. Yeah. Like, I was just – this morning, I was at – 
the gym and on the TV, they had a classic baseball game on the TV between the Dodgers and the Astros from early 1980s. So we're talking 40 years ago and it was fine. There's a lot more money in America. And is that, it's just a matter of budget? They have much better cameras here than they, they probably did. Cause one, cricket, obviously it's popular in India, but worldwide, it wasn't extremely popular until very recently with the T20s, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, and so the, a lot of money wasn't put into it, um, like obviously in, in America. And I don't even really know as well, I mean, how much, that'd be a really cool thing to learn about. Cause like, I know the history of both, uh, of baseball, mm -hmm. it's history in radio and it's history in television. I'd love to know that of like cricket. Cause like when my dad was a little boy, when he was really little, it was just listen on the radio. Baseball, yeah. That's it. And then it was black and white TV and it was one camera behind center, behind the plate. And then they eventually got two cameras. There was one in the outfield and there was one, and you could see it in some of the really, really old footage. <clears throat> and then by the time we hit the 1960s and early 70s, the footage started to get really, really good. I wonder what that's like as well. I wonder when cricket even started to become televised yeah. in India. That'd be interesting. Yeah. You guys obviously, I'm sure, know, so let us know. But yeah, the thing that's most impressive though is like, because it looked like a lot of times, so like they're standing like this, the ball will go in here, it looks like. Right. So the bat's here, their body's here, and the ball goes in there to the wicket. Right. Which is insane skill. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm guessing... Obviously, they're a professional. They know that ball's going to go there. Absolutely. So, I, I think it's exactly like Major League Baseball pitching in terms of you know exactly where you're going to put the ball. You can make mistakes every once mm -hmm. in a while, but within a matter of a centimeter or two, There's so you, many you have an idea though. of what you want to the do. The pitcher is in complete control, usually, for the 99.9% .9 of the time, of what the ball's going to do. Right. You, you add the, the ground, right. if it gets a bad, a bad spin on the ground. Well, not just a bad spin on the ground, but the pinpoint accuracy with which you may get a spin on the, the ball the way you want it to go, but you're gonna have to place it in the exact right spot for it to go and actually hit the sticks. Because if you do it too soon, it could bounce too high. If you do it too far, it could bounce in the wrong direction. So the, it, the pinpoint accuracy of where they throw it on the ground and then matching the spin with the ball so that it does what they want it to do on the skip and, is pretty remarkable. And the- Pretty the, pretty crazy. The balls or vagina on these guys, um, if you know that reference, uh, uh, Betty White, uh, to just not move. Because yeah. obviously in baseball, you know, obviously they're professional, even though that's scary as hell, 100 miles an hour, miles an hour balls coming at your face uh your mom's also really good though That's true. um <laughs> but like this ball is now going crazy it's hitting something you have no idea where it's going and you just well and i bet i could be wrong but i bet there's something comparable as well in terms of the batsman is guessing what the thing's going to be thrown at them that happens in baseball as well yeah and you freeze yeah because it's not what you were expecting so if you were expecting, for example, a, something to come at you on a pretty straight hop or it was gonna curve to the outside and it kicks and comes in, especially if you see the release and you think you can pick up the spin on the ball when it leaves the hand and when it hits the ground, it goes in the opposite direction, it'll yeah. freeze you. In, in baseball, you know the ball's coming within basically this, unless it's obviously a, um, a, a ball, obviously, and it's crazy out. But it's coming in a relatively similar area. <laughs> it could literally go anywhere. Well, the other thing that's crazy about this, this is not only is it coming in basically anywhere and it's skipping off the ground, but your swing can hit it anywhere. Yeah. Which that's just, that was the craziest thing for me to comprehend is that the ball is fair 360. Mm -hmm. I still can't wrap my head around that as a batsman. I think they're actually about to have cricket games here in LA. Are they? Like, cause like somebody, I think somebody sent me something and it was like the, the U S cricket league. And cool. obviously we have one here. Um, but I didn't know, I didn't look into exactly when it is. So maybe I, I'll look into that because I loved going to both of the games oh, that we went to. Yeah. Even though it was quite sad. It was such, it was, uh, it was, I did prefer, uh, Mumbai. Yeah. That was, oh, the, 
the crowd especially. It was different. Even though we had a fun crowd. We in, had a fun in, crowd in, in, in it Florida, was, but it's... It was humid. Oh, God, it was awful. Well, that's what we're... I mean, I guess it's good for cricket. It was probably good for the field to be humid and stuff, but I like... I guess, I don't know. Dang. The game had to be called because of, of lightning. <laughs> and downpour. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know uh, other cricket videos we should react to. And uh, if you know about the U.S. Cricket League, let me know. Double. Just...